when I'm out there and I'm doing my sport and I'm on my bike or I'm swimming and I'm running and I just feel like it's such a celebration of being alive and I feel like I'm celebrating my body and I'm, I'm really, I'm using the gift that I was given. The sport of triathlon, the biggest focus of your training is of course on those three sports, on the swim, the bike, and the run. In the swim I'm doing longer sets, longer intervals, four or five, uh, four hundreds, you know, where I just do those and get 20 second rests in between. And basically I'm getting ready to swim 2.4 miles, so I'm doing much longer swims, swims of three to four thousand yards. Uh, right now, so a lot of long, long stuff. Um, I get a lot of my training done in the pool because it's the easiest, it's the most accessible, and it's really the warm up for the whole race. So you want to be sure that you can swim, you know, longer than 2.4 miles. I mean, that should be like just a walk in the park, a really easy warm up for the day. You shouldn't feel exhausted after doing 2.4 miles because that's really just the start of the day. So when I do a lot of swimming, I, I try not to kick too much with my legs. I try to power most with my arms. And a lot of triathletes do that because in triathlon, it's the one sport during the day that you're gonna let to give your legs a rest. So um, you may as well exhaust your arms because you're not gonna use them quite as much on the bike and the run. When you're training for an Ironman triathlon, you're also biking very long distances. I bike two to three times a week, and I always do one long bike ride. So my shorter rides are somewhere between 20 and 30 miles during the week, and then on my long ride on the weekends, I'm now doing usually 80 miles. The bike is the lo largest portion of the race. It's the big meat of the sandwich there. I mean, you're really biking 112 miles or 180 Ks. After every long bike ride, I always come in and I do what's called a transition run. During a race, you're gonna come in and quickly change, so I wanna replicate that at my home. So I can just pull up, you know, dump the bike, switch the legs, and get out there and run. Even if I'm not running all that long, what's really important is practicing that 10 to 20 minutes of the run off the bike. It's really working on that, not just the physical, aspect of doing that transition run. I mean, that's tough, but I also think it helps train you mentally. It gets you used to a little bit of suffering. That's part of Ironman. I mean, part of your day is gonna be uncomfortable. Part of your day is gonna be a bit of suffering and it's gonna be pain. And you have to train your mind to, to tell your body to keep going even when it wants to stop. When you're done with your workout, you're gonna have either another workout later that day or you have just a, another hard workout the next day. And so your recovery today can really affect tomorrow. Now that's where it's really important to have something to refuel with. What I really enjoy about chocolate milk is the kind of recovery drink that I can have in the middle of the day and it's not gonna like weigh me down or bog me down or have this big, huge meal. I mean, some mornings I swim and I do a strong swim in the morning, and then you know, two or three hours later, I'm doing another workout. So I don't wanna have a huge, enormous meal. So chocolate milk is like the perfect thing to have after a swim, because I mean, you're hungry, you're ready to refuel your body, but you don't want too much because, yeah, in a couple hours, you're gonna be you know, slamming again on the bike or the run. Mm -hmm.